In today's video, I'll share with you what I packed and wore for my trip to Miami. I love doing these travel capsule wardrobes because not only is the idea of a travel capsule great for packing because it saves you space and it helps you not be tied down to wearing an exact outfit on every day of your trip. You kind of just take like literally a mini wardrobe or closet with you and you can just mix and match the pieces to your liking and to the activities that you do. But they also are a really nice way to kind of experiment with the idea of a capsule wardrobe. Maybe you're not ready to make your entire closet a capsule wardrobe, but a travel capsule is a good way to experiment with this. So let's just dive into what I end up packing and also my outfits. I love to do these videos after I come back from the trip so that that way you can get a better idea of what actually worked and what didn't and you can get some inspiration if you're headed to a similar destination. Whenever I do a travel capsule, I love to think about the place that I'm going in terms of the style, aesthetic, the feelings associated with the destination because I want to kind of embody that in the clothing that I bring along. So when I think of Miami, I think of something very lively, colorful, very fun, and I'm going to insert some pictures that I took when I was there. And definitely all of these words kind of helped me pick out pieces for my wardrobe. Now, of course, you guys know how much I love like very simple neutral pieces. So I still kind of obviously have my style, but I also included some more fun elements and colorful and bold and just lively pieces to go with those Miami vibes. Two new pieces that I've added to my wardrobe and I actually ended up bringing along with me for the trip were pieces from a brand called Whiskey. They create chic activewear items. Think of like athleisure style, they have swimwear, and they describe their style as sports glam. I feel like that was the perfect way to describe it because they have pieces that you could wear to the gym, to the beach, just to more casual, like actual athleisure style, but I felt like it was very chic and feminine. So the first piece that I had were these leggings and these are more of like a yoga pants style actually. I got these in a small Asian fit so if you are petite I recommend getting the Asian fit if they have that available in the style that you like. I wore these actually on the plane ride. They're quite comfortable and I just felt really chic in them because they're like a little different than just like your average pair of leggings and I do think that they're a little bit more flattering too if you have like the same body shape as me. I have like an inverted triangle so I prefer to have a little bit more volume on the bottom. So I absolutely loved these pants. They're really nice quality as well. They're stretchy but they also have a good hold to them and the fabric is very well made too. Like it's sturdy. It's not like you know the leggings or yoga pants that are just really thin that are stretchy but they're thin but they're also not like super tight where they're sculpting but they're going to hurt or not be as comfortable these were like the perfect in between and then the other piece that i got that i was super excited for was this cute little swimsuit and i was so excited to wear this because i felt like this was really fun and lively and went with like the Miami style that I was talking about before. It's this off-the-shoulder swimsuit that's in this beautiful lilac color. I wore this when we went to South Beach, so this goes into my first outfit um, that I'll share with you in today's video. So with this swimsuit, I did end up wearing like a swim short or a swim kind of skirt that I got from Amazon Fashion. I always wear usually like you know the little swim shorts or skirts I will never see me out in like an itty bitty bikini bottom so I just decided to wear it with this and I love the way that the white looked with the pretty lilac color and then to finish off that beach outfit I did add some straw accessories so I had the straw bag that I have hanging up here or straw hat and then I had a straw bag and then I also usually always have with me a white just like oversized shirt because I do get sunburned easily so I like to just have that layer of protection. This swimsuit is very well made similar to the leggings it's in a stretchy comfortable material that also has a good sculpt and hold to it. It also had some padding here in the inside and it was just super comfortable. I loved wearing this. I felt really I, I don't want to say I felt happy in it but I, I don't know it's just a nice pop of color because usually the swimsuit that I always wear which I love is just in a black color so this was definitely something fun to change up I do recommend if you are in between sizes to go ahead and size up I got this in a size small and I will say it fit nicely could I have got a medium probably but as I wore it throughout the day at the beach, I realized that the small was perfect. I wanted something a little bit more fitted, especially with this more off-the-shoulder style. I just felt that that was a little bit more secure. 
I do have a discount with Whiskey that I'm very excited to share with you. So if you saw anything from these two pieces that you liked or any of their other pieces that you can check out on your web on their website, you can use my discount code for a little money off. Moving on to the next outfit, I did decide to pack a nice little dress. This one is from Old Navy. It's got like these cute little cutouts right here. It's in like this kind of, um, what do you call this, like A-line style. And I even could have worn it off the shoulder if I wanted to. I just end up wearing it like how it is here on that hanger. I really liked this dress because it was very well made. This is just from Old Navy and I say it was well made because it's in this like light fabric that's in white so it actually has lining on the inside so it wasn't see-through at all and I feel like when you are dealing with stuff like that usually things that are cheaper made you have to end up wearing like a slip or something underneath because it's usually see-through so even though this fabric was they did have like lining on the inside and I actually wore this when we went to the Dior cafe it was something that I really wanted to do when we went down there it was at the Miami Design District and I felt very sophisticated in it I really don't I'm like, like not into luxury brands and all that stuff that much, but I love Christian Dior's like the style. I feel like they have a lot of classy, feminine, like modest pieces to choose from. And the cafe was just a nice little experience. So this is what I end up wearing. I just wore it with a neutral pair of sandals, my Teddy Blake bag. And I wanted to wear my pro earrings with this, but I actually forgot to pack them. And I wanted to wear them because Dior is known for a lot of like pearl accessories. So I thought that that would have been super cute. But I love the outfit that I had with this. And this dress was quite comfortable. I think after we went to the cafe um, later that evening, we actually end up going back down to South Beach. So this was really nice to wear on a walk like evening beach as well. The rest of the items that I included in this capsule were shorts and tops that I could mix and match interchangeably. In fact, the outfit that I end up wearing one of the days was not even an outfit that I had planned or anything like that. I wore it with the striped shorts that I had from Abercrombie, the white bodysuit that I also have from Abercrombie. That day we didn't do too much walking in the sun so I felt comfortable with my arms out. But I probably would have wore like a longer shirt had we been out like in the heat and I wanted to be protected from the sun. And to kind of add a pop of color to this outfit, I did add some sage green accessories. So I actually had this little bag that I love having crossbody bags whenever I travel. And then I had like a bucket hat as well. And because all those pieces just were working well with each other, even all the accessories worked well with each other, there really wasn't much thought I had to put into it. And I just felt like really happy about this travel capsule in general I could have packed even lighter there was some things that I didn't even include in today's video that I didn't end up wearing and also just didn't go with the color palette and I realized that having a color palette and just having pieces you can mix and match really come in handy especially when you're on the go you just save so much space so I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. I will have actually a little shopping guide that I made of this capsule with all the pieces that I've included. And feel free to subscribe so you can see more capsule wardrobe content from me. I will have a Whiskey's personal discount that I have with them linked in the description bar below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.